He was at the top of the charts, the top of the game, and the top of fame in Canada. For over a year, Josh Martinez had the top five singles in Canada all at the same time. His album sold multi-platinum, and in the wake of his Sex Buffet album, he truly was on the mustache ride of his life. And then one day, at the height of his fame, he just disappeared. It was rumored that the polyamorous Martinez had finally fallen in love. After a Canada Day concert, Martinez and a young lady were seen boarding a flight to Mexico. He never returned, but we found him. to be in Mexico with one of Canada's most iconic rock stars. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's something that probably most girls would dream of. I just wanted to fuck a rock star. Brought you the smokes and the coconuts, babe. Do we have coconuts in Canada? Give me a fucking cigarette. I just... I'll... Just give me a fucking okay. cigarette. Can you find a job? He's gotten fat. His music is... I don't even know what to call it anymore. And look, he, he can't even swim. Go back to the room. Can I get you a drink? God, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just needed a break from all that. I needed to find myself, you know. And so, Josh, how long have you been in Mexico? As long as I can remember, it feels like. I mean, airport in Vancouver. We just uh, played a huge, huge show with Bare Naked Ladies, and I've been drinking a lot. You know, me and Crystal. She. My name is not Crystal. A couple of midnights in Mescal later. A couple of centuries later. Hey, I'm talking to you. But all was not well in paradise. What can you tell us about his creative process? I don't even believe if he wrote some of the songs, because I've never seen him write a song. Just wish I could be making music again. I mean, it was me, Brian Adams, Celine Dion, Wayne Gretzky. I mean, what else was there? You know, I miss and he would give anything to be back there. I'd give anything to be back there. I just want to go. You could tell your fans in Canada anything, what would you say? Fuck you! <laughs> I'm so sorry I left. I'm nothing without the fans. I let you down, and I want you back. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, I mean, that was amazing. Still is, I mean. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it was amazing. give anything to be back there. Martinez back on track. Oh, he needs to get home to Canada. Get the band back together. They were really good. So, you know, everybody was talking about that album that you guys were working on with your band. What, what's up with that? I mean, you've been gone for a while, and that was highly anticipated. I mean, we made that at the top of our game. You know, we were massive. I mean, you know, when the record finally was done, you know, so were we. Jimmy quit. Joey got married. The best days of my life. He tried to put a brave face on things, claiming things couldn't be any better. Yeah, so things couldn't couldn't be better, you know. Hey, babe. Wait up. It's got a lot of stuff here, so we'll get some dinner or something. Stop talking to me. So what's next? I mean, if if you make it back to Canada, what can we expect from Josh Martinez and the Pissed Off Wild? Well, it's more than just Canada. It's about the world. We love Canada. We're gonna we're gonna take it back to the Canadian roots. We're gonna do a cross country tour, get our fighting skills back because you know we, we fought a lot as a band. You know, with each other and other bands. You know, there was a lot of there was a lot of hurt feelings. And, you know, when I say hurt feelings, you know, black eyes, broken teeth. You know what I mean, like, you already see me. I put beer on my head. I inject myself with chemicals to find out what I, you know if, if it's possible to be the Hulk. I do what I can, and I'll do anything. Do anything. So what do you think is the unique contribution that Josh Martinez and the Pissed Off Wild can bring to the world of music? It was at this exact moment that Martinez had a revelation about a revolution. It's, it's apocalyptic music. It's the end of music as we know it. It's like a revolution, you know, like when a circle starts and then it comes all the way back to the same place. A whole revolution of thoughts and minds. 
this has been a really helpful process for me, you know, having you down here and kind of been very reflective about my life and I, you know, just so everybody knows, uh, you know, got a bus ticket, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm ready to come home, I'm ready to make some magic. You need to make some money. I'm ready to make some magic. You shot that. Again? No mames, cabrón. <laughs>